Kim here and I hope you guys are having a wonderful beautiful day as always today's video is gonna be how to get a flawless face we all want to slay we all want to be beat so I'm gonna show you how to get this flawless foundation whether it's an everyday look whatever you want to do or just spice it up a little bit but I'm gonna show you how to lay your foundation I'm gonna show you how to slay today <laughs> But anyways, if you want to know what I use to go ahead and get this foundation, then definitely stay tuned. I also let you guys know what products I use in the video, but the great thing about this video as well is that I also let you guys know the drugstore alternative. So if you don't have all this money to just put out on expensive products, you're just getting into makeup, or you just want to use your money for something else, there's nothing wrong with that. Then I'll have the drugstore alternatives on how to create this face as well, because you can get the same type of bead with drugstore products also. The only one that I forgot to tell you guys in the video is my setting powder. I use Sasha Buttercup setting powder, but I forgot to tell you the drugstore alternative for that one. And everybody knows it, it's Ben Eye Banana Powder. That would be, to me, more of like a drugstore alternative for the setting powder. So yeah, I'm not gonna hold you guys too long, but before I get into the video, of course I wanna show you guys some love. I wanna tell you guys how much I really love and appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos, for liking them, sharing them, commenting. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I would love to hear from you, so follow me on my social network. Right here you guys are able to see where you can follow me on Instagram as well as Snapchat. And my Facebook information will be listed in the description box below, as well as all the products that I use on this face and the drugstore alternatives. So we're going to go ahead and have some fun today. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video and I will see you beauties later. Bye. Okay, so to start off this flawless foundation routine, the first thing that you want to do is to prime your face. Um, the primer that I'm going to be using is what I've been trying out. Um, from Nikki Tutorials, which is the Nivea Shave Balm for men. And so far I've been really, really liking this stuff. So it seems like this stuff really works. But I also have large pores too. So I also use the Benefit Pore Professional. That's another primer that I use to kind of fill in these large, large pores. But if you guys want a drugstore version of a primer, then the Revlon Photo Ready Primer that was like my holy grail for a really, really, really long time. And I would still purchase it again today. So if you want to have a drugstore primer, that primer is good as well. Now for foundation, I mix two foundations together. Um, my favorite foundation at the moment is the Kat Von D um, Lock It Tattoo Foundation. And that is in the shade Deep 72. It is very, very, very red for me, but I have acne as you guys can see. So it color corrects for me, that way I don't have to put anything on top to color correct. But I mix that foundation with my um, Clinique Stay Matte um, Foundation and I have it in the number 26 in amber. And what I do is of course put them on the back of my hands and I use the Beauty Blender sponge to go ahead and blend everything out. And this is gonna be the start of our flawless foundation routine. Let's get that foundation on there after you prime the face. And we gonna beat this face today. These two foundations together Oh my gosh, they are heaven together. The Kat Von D foundation, if you guys haven't tried it before, the formula is thick and it's matte, so it actually allows your makeup to stay on all day long. And then the Stay Matte Foundation, the Stay Matte Foundation by Clinique is very, very lightweight. So it mixes well with Kat Von D, which is really thick. And it also controls my oil. That's the type of foundation, that's what that foundation is for. So it controls my oiliness. And then the Kat Von D has my makeup stay all day. These two are heaven together. If you want a foundation that's gonna be mattifying that's drugstore, the drugstore alternative is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me, the matte and poreless. I actually tried this out yesterday. That foundation is bomb as well if you want like a drugstore. Now, the concealer that I'm gonna use is my favorite concealer to date. Absolute favorite is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and it's in the color Amande. So I'm gonna use that to conceal underneath the eyes. And I always do it in a triangular shape. 
I'm gonna do it underneath the eyes. I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, and then I am gonna dab all around my mouth. And these are the places that I'm gonna conceal today. I'm gonna be using this end of the Beauty Blender sponge. And we're gonna go ahead and conceal. Now the drugstore alternative for the concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Or you can use the um, LA Girl Pro Concealers. Now those things are life. I absolutely love those. But those will be your drugstore alternatives for the concealer. Okay, so as you can see, we're a little bit more highlighted now. Now for my contour, I want something to be a little bit more chiseled. So this step is optional for the contour. You can just um, go for a powder, but I'm gonna set a powder on top. So the first thing that I'm gonna use though is gonna be my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in espresso. And I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my face really quickly. The areas that I want to contour. Yeah, I really wanna slay today, so we gonna go for a very, very sharp contour. And the brush that I love to use to do my contour is the Buffing Brush by Real Techniques. This thing is awesome, so I'm just gonna go back and forth with this. And I kind of twirl the brush a little bit. That way it blends it out, just twirl it just a little bit. Now for the nose contour, I use a smaller brush. I don't know what type of brush this is. Um, use any brush that's a little bit smaller to get the nose area. So that's what I'm doing now. And I drag my contour down. Down towards, like this way towards the eye. Don't worry if things are a little bit harsh right now because of course, blending is key, and we are going to blend a little bit later to get everything flawless. Now it's time for baking. So yeah, you see this stuff, it is really, really harsh right now, but what we're gonna do is to go ahead and set the highlights, so we're gonna bake a little bit. I am using the Fabulous Sasha Buttercup Powder. If you guys have not tried it, you definitely wanna try it. I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender sponge to go ahead and bake, so I'm gonna sit this under the areas, we'll sit this on top of the areas where I put the concealer. And we're gonna let that sit a little bit. While that product is working, we're going to go ahead and Finish up the contour. We're gonna blend that out and deep that, deepen up that a little bit. So I'm gonna be using two colors. I'm gonna be using my Max Studio Fix Powder in NW58, which is absolutely awesome. It's the deepest color that they have. I'm gonna make this contour a little bit more harsh, but then I'm gonna follow up with the bronzer, which is the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. Um, I'm gonna use that to kind of make it a little bit more warm. So let's define this a little bit more. So I'm gonna sweep it back and forth very, very gently and set all over. Where I contoured back and forth gently. Set. Now let's go ahead and move on to the bronzer. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. And I'm gonna warm up my contour a little bit. I've hit pan already and I need to buy another one, but they don't sell nowhere in my area. I have no idea what's going on with this bronzer, but I cannot find it. If you guys can find it, let me know. So I'm gonna warm this up a little bit so it's not as harsh. Just on my cheeks. 
Now let's sweep away this Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm gonna be using a big fluffy brush for that. And I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender sponge just to blend it out a little bit. And that's the butt of the sponge that has a little bit of the foundation on it. Just to make sure that it's not too, too ashy looking. And we're gonna blend. Let's move on to one of my favorite parts, which is blush. I am gonna be using Max Raisin Blush. I know you guys probably have seen this everywhere. Love this stuff. So you just kind of smile a little bit like this. I know I look really, really funny. And then we're gonna put it on the apples of the cheeks. And sometimes I go crazy with blush, so. I don't know how I'm feeling today, but we will see. Highlight is optional, but to me, a foundation look is not complete with a little bit of glow. So I'm actually gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills that glow kit right here, and I am gonna mix Golden Bronze and Sunburst, which is my favorite combination of highlights so far. I've been loving this pretty much every day, so I'm just gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks. Oof, look at that glow. <laughs> look at that glow, so amazing. And I'm gonna do that to both sides. Oh my gosh, this is everything. Let's do the nose. Mm-hmm. Cupid's bow. And I always do a little bit above the brow. I'm oily and I still do it. And just to give it a flawless look, I always go back with blush on top just to make everything blend seamlessly. So here is the finished look with the lip. The lip that I used was LAX by ColourPop and I love it. So this is the flawless routine. Told you guys it wasn't gonna take that long. Very, very simple, very easy. Whether you're using high-end products or drugstore products, you can achieve this flawless face. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer for you. And that's it for this video. Bye loves.